Thanks for joining me. This is John Torres from InfotechYeti.com. Today I want to talk about how to troubleshoot your external hard drive. This one actually failed at me and I just repaired it, so I'm not going to go too in depth with that. But if you decided you wanted to take a look at that, let me know. I'll just give you a quick overview of how to open the enclosure so you can install a brand new hard drive. So what I was experiencing recently, I was plugging in my external lazy hard drive and I was getting exactly this. If you don't see it here, this is a light indicator showing that there's some kind of activity power going to the enclosure to the hard drive. But one thing I noticed right away, if you're interested in knowing how to troubleshoot an external hard drive, right away what was happening in my computer, whether it's a Mac or a PC, the hard drive was not showing up. So I said, what's going on? First, I thought it was the cable. I disconnected it and plugged in. This is a Thunderbolt cable, if you don't know. And I plugged in a USB 3, both on a Mac and a PC. Still nothing. So what I would recommend, first, before going into that, you're saying, okay, what is happening? Why is it actually not showing up? First thing you would say, my hard drive failed. How do I get that to work? So one thing you would recommend to do before doing anything further, if you don't see these things in your computer, just pull up the hard drive. See if you feel any vibration happening. Some of the hard drives are so smooth you probably won't feel it. Like this one right now, I can actually feel something moving. So it tells me that there is some activity on there. The second thing you need to do is put the hard drive to your ear. A lot of hard drives, uh, this is another one that I have that works out well. My previous Western Digital lasted a while too. But because I've used it so much in the field, I actually died out the connection here. And then it started to click. So one thing you need to do is pull the hard drive closer if you don't hear it. See if you hear any major clicking, like uh, a large clicking consistency to tell you that that's probably the hard drive that failed. So one thing you have to understand about these hard drives the less expensive ones are mechanical hard drives. There's a spinning disk on here that's reading the information. You can probably see something like this here. This is uh, an, uh, what's included inside these type of devices here. Uh, the newer ones are sol uh, solid state drives. They're quieter, they're faster, better performance, but they still can eventually wear out and die. So what I did right away was I put it towards my ear. I still couldn't hear any clicking. Usually that's the biggest indicator that it died. A lot of times, a lot of times these enclosures actually do die because there's like a main board here that reads the information for you to connect it and communicate to the computer. It's almost like a self-powered external drive is what it is. So then I said, okay, it's not showing up on the computer. It's showing this indicator for whatever connection I have, Mac or PC. So at that point, what I decided to do was take apart the external drive. So I'll show you real quick what you need to do. I'm not gonna take apart the whole thing, but hopefully I can give you an insight of how to do this, at least with this, this one. The Lacey is really good because it has a nice bumper protection because external drives, if they're moved out a lot, you're definitely gonna get an experience for it and it could definitely damage. So you can see here, the Lacey external drive, you have four screws. And all I did was unscrew these here, which hold the hard drive and main board in place that connects it. And then you have these little locking levers here. And what you do is you can take like, a, you know, if you don't have any fancy connection, you can take like a plastic fork and just plug it in there to pop it out. There's actually levers to do this. Just be careful not to push too hard into it. And what's, what happens is once you unlock it, the whole hard drive will come in. You just have to unscrew it, uh, unlock it, and then plug in your new hard drive. And once I did that with the new hard drive, it worked right away. So let me just plug that right in. Another thing to determine if you're concerned about, like, okay, how do I save my data? I just think I lost all my data. I would honestly first, before going to any manufacturer or um, recovery data person, you can actually buy a an external dock. And I'll show you real quick how that looks like. I'm just gonna bring over this dock over here and let me bring it over. All right, so this is a dock for your hard drive. I don't know if you guys can see that there. 
So what this does, this provides an actual connection in the back. If I turn it around in the back here, you can see this is a USB to connect to your computer, Mac, or PC, and this is the power source for it. And then when you plug it in, you can see it's the same SATA connection that you would have on your hard drive, which you see right there. So what you do is you just dock it in place. There's no clicking sound for this one, so that's pretty much it. Once you power it on, it connects it determines if it can read it off of the hard drive from the computer and at that point it still would not even show up on my computer what I noticed right away when I plugged it into here that was connected to my PC or Mac it was having an, a buzzing sound uh, a really hard buzzing sound so right away I knew that my hard drive failed so there are software out there that can actually help to recover things I personally wouldn't recommend it and I would always say never have your data on one place and I learned that again today here thankfully I didn't have anything major in here it was just some installers and stuff like that but this is something that we should actually consider to look into instead of having to go to let's say a store and get support for it because a lot of times what happens these enclosures the main board dies and this light indicator doesn't work you can still take out the hard drive plug it into your docking station that you have here for your hard drive and still be able to recover data to your computer and new hard drive well that's pretty much it i hope this information provided you with some guidance and some steps on how to troubleshoot your external drive if you haven't subscribed yet please click on subscribe if you like the video click it a thumbs up if not click it a thumbs down and leave a comment down below i'll talk to you guys in the next one this is john torres from infotechyeti.com you guys have a nice day peace